I think most people would probably say, hey, Casey, I think you threw away an amazing career as a national leading dietitian. I did. You threw it away. I did on purpose. And it was the best thing I ever did. Why? The best thing you've ever done? That's well, anyone who uh, hasn't been through it would think that that is bananas. It it's like there is nothing better than trusting your own truth. There's nothing better than belonging to yourself. I have the accolades or I have the things that like light up my ego and make me feel important on a superficial level, aka the success I had as a dietitian. I don't know, there's some point in someone's like corporate career where no amount of money can make up for the calling that they feel deep inside of themselves. And to me, that's the biggest, boldest, bravest move someone can make is listening to that voice inside and trusting it and then surrounding themselves with people who cheerlead the shit out of that, who want to do that themselves. And then you grow this different type of success. Like so many people think like, oh, you make the choice for your craft, for your art, for your passion, for your purpose at the sacrifice of money. And I'm like, bullshit, bullshit. We need you to be you. You're going to be the most successful on the physical plane. I genuinely believe by living in alignment with what you're here for. Do the inner work, discover what that is. Your relationships will improve. We live in a world. It's normal. I'm on a rant right now, but I hope it's okay. (laughs) It is normal. Let me just say this. What is normal in our leadership is leading from a victim mentality, a blame mentality, a low level of consciousness. Just because that's normal doesn't mean that it's the way that it should be. Just because it's normal to be on anti-anxiety and anti-depression meds doesn't mean, and I'm pro like medication when you need it and when it empowers you, but there's a lot of it. We're not doing well as a society. That's normal. Our normal is a low effing bar. And so if we're just doing what we see around us, and maybe we're not yet surrounded by people who are in truth, are in authenticity, are in integrity, are doing rad shit in the world, then it's all too easy to shrink to settle, to stay in an abusive relationship or in a a job that's sucking your soul or to be, um, there's this term in yogic wisdom called dharma. Dharma is like life purpose, this reason for being, to be like just beside your dharma and to live your whole life like that rather than stepping straight into the center of it and letting your gifts truly transform yourself and the people around you. And it doesn't have to be in a big way. It could be in a small way that nobody else sees, but you're living your dharma. To me, that alignment, it's really illuminating a value system for me, inner integrity. It feels good. I am free. I am so free. If you want to know more about making purposeful decisions and how our bodies can give us the indications we need, whether we're doing the right things or not, check out the full conversation I had with Casey Berglund. Click on the link right over there.